Welcome to your weekly market update. You can see interest rates. Um, remember on this chart, the lower the candlestick, these are called Japanese candlesticks, the higher the interest rate. So we are off the, um, we are up in interest rates. December 28th was the lowest point there. Um, what happened? Well, what happened was the Bureau of Labor and Statistics jobs report came out and it came out much hotter than expected. Now, it has been proven that this report ran by the government cannot be trusted. And I'll prove that to you with data. So the markets eventually digested this and stabilized. Uh, we want to see it keep on this trend line and you'll probably see a move back up here. What will cause rates to go lower? Inflation, talk of the Fed cutting interest rates, um, the jobs reports coming out showing weakness because that will help pull down inflation. So let me share the charts with you to prove what we're saying here. Um, this is how the report came out. So it came out that hourly earnings were up um, and they're up year over year and average weekly earnings are up and that the hours per week are uh, down just a bit. Now you have to take this with a grain of salt because remember, uh, the auto workers went on strike and they got huge pay increases. And this would have been the first report that would reflect that. So that comes in here, that comes in here. Um, but this is a sharp contrast to ADP, who has actual data of employees close to 10 million. Remember, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics does this off of forecasting and statistical models, not act off of actual payroll data. Um, so let me show you how this gets manipulated. Um, there's another report. So there's ADP, there's a household survey, which is called the CPS. And there is also um, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Now, of course, the government always focuses on their report. Um, but one thing that we want to show you is they take almost 670 some thousand employees out of their data because they deem them as no longer looking for a job. Well, those people are still unemployed, so they should be considered in the unemployment numbers. Um, but it's a little trickery and uh, I call it tomfoolery that's done by the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. And of course, we're coming up on an election year, so they want to make the job market look better than it is. Um, and that's not a political statement. Both sides play this game and you manipulate this data for their own benefit. But if you look at the household survey, they're showing 683,000 jobs lost. So the BLS showed 216,000 um, jobs gained. They're showing the total workforce of 676,000 being removed. That's from the BLS. So they're saying the participation rate is down. Um, now, if we look at unemployed numbers and we look at the labor force, we have, this is the BLS. They're saying that unemployment was unchanged at 3.74. But if we add back in these 676,000 people to the number that the BLS, the government uh, report pulls out, then you'll see that this number isn't accurate. Um, the unemployed divided by the labor force is actual 4% uh, unemployment, which is starting to trend up. So we believe that the job market is not as rosy as the BLS makes it look. And there are monthly revisions. On average, the BLS report has got revised the following month when the actual data comes in by an average of 45,000 jobs. So the markets eventually catch up and realize that this data is skewed. And if they continue to do it, they just won't even look at the report. So we believe that the household survey and the ADP reports are more accurate. And that is showing a lot of weakness within our um, job market. So what does that mean for you? That means lower interest rates ahead. That means that the Fed's rate hikes have already broken the jobs, um, just the, a lot of the jobs out there because the businesses 
have to borrow at a higher interest rate. So they will start to cut to stimulate the economy again when this gets too bad. They are starting to see it. I've been preaching this all year that they've went too far. They're starting to see it and they're starting to acknowledge. So there's on average three rate cuts forecasted for next year. Um, that's average. Some believe up to six rate cuts. So I'll show you those probabilities on the next market update. Uh, if there's the market's really hot, be aggressive with your search. Um, the National Association of Realtors believes for every half a percent interest rate decrease, there's 5 million more buyers that can qualify. Now, that doesn't mean all of those buyers will come to the market, but that does mean there are more buyers that will come to the market, which will increase demand. There's a little bit of increased supply, but not enough to keep up with that demand. So what does that mean? That means prices will continue to go up. So actually, I believe higher interest rates are at your advantage. And as they come down, you will pay more for a home. So be aggressive in your search now. Please call me if you have any questions. Uh, you can DM us as well if you're seeing this on social media.